Okay, so that was Horus. Um, so go to camp. Camp, right. We're going to do I camp. I think Grand Tree is our... Is our stop of the succubus. All right, so we went left to right last time, so let's start right to left. Shaw. Not to be picky, but shouldn't my, you, you be doing something else? I'd like to meditate. Oh, sweet. What is it like when you turn into a demon? Oh, dude, it's fucking rad. What? What does that matter? I want to understand you. Mesfit took in a breath and focused on a point in the distance. There's nothing to learn. I feel only dark. That's all I can... That's all I can hear, see, or taste. Have you ever tasted darkness? Have you heard that they're remaking The Crow with Jason Momoa? No, I had not. It's a thing. Jason Momoa does not strike me as... A crow-like character? A great... I, like, as a, as, a, as a great actor for that. I guess he's got the look, right? He's got the look in his face. But, like... Part of the crow is that he is not a giant, hulking brute of a man. Right? And, um, like... <laughs> yeah, that's... Like... So, so, sorry to distract. It was just the, the, the dark and... I would cast Zayn Malik as the crow. Oh, that is... Oh, he's super cool. But he's, he's like, kind of kind of slight. Yeah. Um, Donald Glover would make a really interesting crow. Um, Michael Sarah. Would do a really good job. I guess the other th thing with the with the crow, like like like, it isn't even he isn't even like sad or goth or anything. Like it's just an aesthetic. Mm -hmm. He's just like kind of weird and intense. Yeah, and like part part of his thing is people like laugh at him. They're like, "You're you're you're a clown. You're not threatening to us." Yeah, like he doesn't look threatening. Like Jason Momoa walks into a fucking room. You're like, oh. You're like, oh. Okay. Oh, it's Aquaman. Aquaman's here now. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, like, I, I think that Michael Sarah would be a really funny crow. Hmm. Um, anyway, uh, darkness crawling in my skin. I, I become it. So, you become the darkness? I get magic missile a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's a uh, sort of a thing. A hollow. A, a cold difference. Uh, a hollow. Are we in bleach now? <laughs> I can't. I can't because I, I'm barely there to experience it. I go away. Far away. It feels as if I'll never come back out. Why are you reading out of your diary from this the best years. I could say. Listen, first off, I'm still in my teen years. I'm still very young. I'm an elven youth. But I had that youth coldly ripped from me by the power of demons. It's terrible. It's fucking... It's totally awful. But you do come back out. How? Misfit's eyes wandered as he thought about it. Finally, his eyes landed on Saren. I hear you. The dark blocks out many things, but I can hear you. Just me? No, I, I can hear many people, but their voices are only noise in the madness. Buzzing. Threatening. I want to silence them. Mesfit had worked himself into a frenzy, just recalling his memories of the dark. Saren put a hand on the, on the dark elf's clenched arm and his muscles relaxed. At times like these, Saren wished he knew the elf before his pact with a demon, to see him without their heavy influence. <laughs> Pippin, we all knew people like this in high school. The best we can hope for is that we weren't those people in high school, but we know that we all were. Yes. It's true. No, I'm not in the mood. It's not oh, nice. Yeah, no, fair. Right? It's rather boring when I haven't killed anything in a while. 
Oh, nice. Apparently, this is not a significant story moment. Oh, excellent. I'm okay with that. Oh, here we go. Here I we go. apologize that this is a very inappropriate question, but you know, in second thought, now that I've said that out loud, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna rethink this. Um. No, no, you're encouraging me. Uh, I again, I probably shouldn't ask, but I'm going to because you. Now, now it's awkward if I don't. Why do druids not wear clothes? Interesting. So that's not a leaf bikini. That's well, well, droobs. Mm. If you will. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ah, this is very much a belief of mine, but clothes that you and the other cultures wear, I consider them very restrictive. Clothes are like cages, and often made from an animal. I do not believe that such things shall pertain to me. But the vegetation that you wear instead... Wasn't that at the cost of a plant's life? It's still green. It's totally still green and still alive. Also, plant bra confirmed. Yep. Mer smiled and held out her, held out her hand. That is me! Uh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Droobs confirmed. Droobs confirmed. <laughs> a vine began to sprout from her palm, shocking Saren. Oh, oh, wow. I had no idea. Uh, woo, ha. Ha, <laughs> ha. I always surprise us people. I'm a plot. Her, her amusement turned to worry as she studied Saren's face, bringing her hand back to her. I think that's too bizarre, do you? Saren shook his head and caught her hand before she completely withdrew it. Her skin was warm to his touch, like other warm-blooded creatures. It is beautiful. They lingered, staring at each other. Saren could almost feel Mirth shiver. But instead, he just felt the arrow... Pierce his rib cage. <laughs> a faint light caught both their attentions, and they looked down to see a growing flower had bloomed. A glowing flower had bloomed in her hand. She yanked her arm away and hid it behind her, laughing nervously. Ah, it's so that's like a druid erection. Ah, uh, that is that is my understanding. Yes, this uh, is all like right. a druid erection. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how the things work. It's just science. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna go see Pippin and a. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Scotland week, next week, are you? Uh, which means that uh, I get to uh, practice my Elvish. Yeah, no, I believe what you have to do to persuade Jim not to use that accent as per person is to be in the company of other uh, Scottish people. No, who will murder him? No, that's never stopped me. Oh, you have to physically harm me um, to death. Yeah, just always go to, like... Oh, morning. my God, Claire, Karen's glad to see us. I'm so confused. Saren, good. You are the one I wanted to see. What can I do for you? Oh, slave things. As you know, my daughter will become queen within the season. I want her to be a great queen, even greater than I. I failed my mother's heritage... But Loren can restore it. I like that. I like that she's just Lady David Attenborough now. Well, if you saw an Amazon in the woods, you might think they're out of place, and you'd be right. <laughs> I want to bestow a warrior's gift upon her to help her in her reign. <laughs> no, just ruin as it. my mother did for me. What kind of gift do you mean? I do not know if you share our Amazon religions, but. We worship the Amazons that have come before us. They are finding it. They are our great mothers. Nice. If I could give Loren a relic of a great mother, she would be destined to join their ranks. I request, I request your arm in battle in helping me retrieve one. We could bring a bunch of other people. It would be super easier. Where would we find such a relic? I've thought long, I've, I've thought long about this for some time. There are high tales of Amazon warrior and her weapon. She ended a bloody battle with the mighty Chizulu, dooming the land to rejoin the ocean. What does that mean? Uh, earthquake. Okay. Also, is Chizulu one of the elder dinosaurs in the new Rivals of Ixalan set? Because I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, also, a uh, delicious Latin... Uh, fried bread. Nice. I don't think that's true, but it. Oh. Um. 
Her weapon broke an entire land, and I will settle for no less for my Loren, who already has a, a powerful baller <laughs> magic sword. Yes, I is... understand. When shall we look for it? It's going to turn out to be a two-hander, isn't it? <laughs> Whenever we may slip away unnoticed to the, to the ruins past the unforgiving swamps. Nice. Personal quest. Great. We'll do, we'll do that. We'll yeah. do that next. Get Loren yep. another baller yep. sword. That seems great. How are you feeling now that Cruel is dead? You have eyes, dude. Probably not great. Sort of nothing. Revenge isn't that sweet, boo. Don't you feel good for having avenged your family? Maybe if I'd actually killed him with that first stab. But then he picked me up and made a fool of me. Don't think of it like that. Not all battles are clean victories. Most of them aren't. Look at Amukiki. Look at him. <laughs> Rippling there in the sunset. Oiling himself up. Oh, so sorry. What um the duel, yeah, it it wasn't great for anyone, really. Um what were we saying? Right, take take pride in your victory. I suppose it's just... That is a nice pose, isn't it? No, I suppose it's just my family ain't coming back no matter what I do, you know? I, I'm sad. I I really like... Like, every time I see a shortened word, I notice that, like, the accents we have picked for these people are actually the correct ones. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know why I ran off. I thought I'd kill them all by myself, but... I ain't no assassin. I didn't know what to do once I got there. I used my knife instead of my arrows and stood in the middle of a bunch of orcs. Well, I was scared. But let's talk about that orc disguise for a second. Yeah, you... So I hit again, like I always do. Like an orc. What? Sorry, I phrased that strangely. Let's talk about that fucking orc disguise. Yeah, right? That icky... Especially their insides. Like, I assume that she did. I she just hollowed that. an orc like a tauntaun and worked the sinews to move it around like some kind of fucking mecha suit. So anyway, family's still dead. Didn't kill Crow, and I smell like an orc. Like the uh, inside of an orc. I was gonna say, and I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> Stole it. <laughs> Oh, we should joke. Now it's time no, for jokes. No, 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 no. We can be friendly. We can be friendly. Knock, knock, Ryan. Who's there, Jim? Cruel. Cruel who? Cruelers are my third favorite donut, but you're my first favorite dwarf. Oh, how nice. <laughs> anyway, what should we do? Uh, I, I think we should try to be friendly. Because this seems hideously inappropriate to be either of the other two things. <laughs> Cruel is dead and you helped. We're a team, remember? That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Let's, let's put this, push the space bar and see how he screws it up. That's, that's right. We're a team. T teamwork. I did my part and you guys did yours. The, the bigger part. The part where we kill people. Yes, that's right. And I'm glad you understand now. Well, I'm just going to go to bed and not think about the family of the orc that I hollowed out. <laughs> Fuck. What are death knights exactly? <laughs> it just seems like a non sequitur, right? Like, it's 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 like a Seinfeld thing. It's like, so what's the deal with death knights anyway? <laughs> death knights, always with the death, always with the... the are there death squires? <laughs> yeah, like, is there a whole, like, death nobility? Yeah, like... I mean, who knights death knights? Is there a death aristocracy that we should be worried about? Isn't there a queen? We should be yeah. worried about that death queen. Dark masters of the old age! This is really rudimentary. Apollo Michaud has a, has a terrible TV show where he solves crimes with Draco. And his line instead of elementary is, That's rudimentary, Draco! God. 
It's like, well, I really think that we should... Ah! Today we will solve crimes with racism! Oh, yeah, no. Scottish knock-knock jokes are totally going to be a thing. It's going to be a good time. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I was distracted by beer. In chat. Oh, they're not one race or kind. They're the manipulators of death and dark magic that almost consumed the whole world. Also, they're super hot. We met that death knight. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Also, like, I love the notion that this game, like, tries to grapple with the idea of dark magic, but it never presents to us a practitioner of dark magic who isn't, like, super evil. And just, like, dresses like they, an extra from a, like, Sisters of Mercy video. <laughs> like, Madame Mort, the vampires, Kambara... The Death Knight, they're all like, well, what is dark magic? You're like, you're literally eating souls right now. Well, it's hard to stop at just one, really. It's... Oh, that... Like, if there's one thing a Paloma show has his head on straight about, it's dark magic. Pippin, methinks thou dost protest too much. Yeah. Knock, knock, Jim. Oh, who's there? Tartan! Tartan here! Would you like a tart and scone for breakfast? Hey! <laughs> How's the joke end? That's it, that's it, that's all we got. <laughs> <laughs> no bad person. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> um, where did they come from? That is debatable. Many claim there is a god of Inferno who spawns minions or even suns, as one might call them. <laughs> or there, Night Pippin. <laughs> are there Lady Death Knights asking for a friend? However, my life's research has led me to another conclusion. Do you know the theory of realms? Oh, look who I'm asking. Of course you don't. Listen closely. I will explain this once. Our existence is divided into different realms. They exist upon one another. One is the living of the others are not for the dead. Inferno is the realm of the evil dead. Wicked souls fall there. Other realms are for the pure. Elysium. Yes, the fabled Elysium. Don't interrupt. Between the two realms, there lies a dire limbo. This is called the underrealm. It is the highest realm of the dead with a door through which the dead can escape. You're paying attention still, yes? No, actually I want to point out that, that that means that all of the undead in this world have effectively limboed through the world's underwear. Sorry, nether realm. Mm. Is that how the dead keep coming back to life? That is that is the only way. They call from Inferno and and, and to the Underrealm. Or they have never left the Underrealm. Those souls are death knights, the entities that live in the soul-twisting catacombs of the Underrealm and who have not made peace with their demise. The Underrealm creates death knights? Let me tell you, death knights do a thing or two to my Underrealm. <laughs> it is a perverse place. Oh, sir, I'm hoping that you can help me spread this. I'm going to call it Catholicism. Ooh. <laughs> Foster Lago wears the armor of a great general of the old age, but he is no longer the same man. He has become a husk of himself. He lives on dark magic only, and his mind is tainted with the delusion such magic brings. Oh, you clip the knock-knock joke, you bad person, Rich. That explains why you think dark magic is evil. Because it is. I'm tired now. You may pick up a book if you wish to learn more. It's rudimentary, young man! I've, I've penned it myself. I call it the Bibble. <laughs> the Bibli. Still working on the pronunciation. 
Draco's busy trying to pet all three heads of his new pet. <laughs> That's amazing. It's not sweet little doggies. Yes, you are. It is a little cute. Trouble wagged its fire tail looking up at Draco. They appeared to have bonded well. Great. I'm nice. happy with that. Yeah. Uh, I'm Ukiki. You watch me. Uh, no, 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 no. No. Sarah jumped and started to flush almost immediately. <laughs> you were talking to Dora about how I was oiling myself. I have seen you many times. Many times you've seen me. Watch me. Okay. Saren's body turned ice cold as he tried to recall if he had truly been spying on Amukiki. Unfortunately, his memory recalled several moments where he'd watched the Amukiki train, or eat, or bathe, or stand around. He uh, hadn't thought that it was noticeable, though. Do you not trust me? That's, that's not exactly... Let's go... Have you... Have you... Have you... Yeah, yes... Honestly, man, have you ever seen you from behind? <laughs> Fair. Amukiki stood straighter and dropped his hands to his side. His lack of reply made Saren feel suddenly awkward just now. W was that not... Was that inappropriate? I'm... Uh, I'm not certain if... My, my culture does not... The gladiator was not expecting such an answer and was no longer confident in his speech, as was Saren. I'm... I... Do, I, I'm sorry I said that. I should have been... Who Could you just put anything on at all? It's... Saren turned away to leave. Uh... He stopped, feeling a shiver go down his spine, but he was too humiliated to face Amokiki, so Saren ignored him and briskly walked away. Got him back! All right! <clears throat> There's a fucking crab somewhere. It's like, kiss the bear. <laughs> All right. Ramus. That was one hell of a fight. Against Cruel and the Orcs? Yes. I know we were trying not to fight the whole damn army, but it sure felt like we did. <laughs> yeah, I just slapped shade in that game design there, didn't it? I'm surprised by how difficult that encounter was. I'm even more surprised by Dora. Yeah, you're surprised. I nearly goddamn exploded. Seriously, I'm like, like three fifths whiskey. Yeah, I'm. A, I mean, I'm hot with these abs and this armor and all, but I'm telling you that I'm actual, also like a literal fire hazard. <laughs> Fair point. Those <laughs> braids on your mustache, fuses? Uh, yeah, yeah. They call uh, me Ramus the Cannon. I will. I'll keep that in mind, but, uh, I will keep that in mind. I got so mad with that goddamn Slime Huffer picked her up. God, that's really good. Slime Huffer? Yeah. Slime Huffer? I nearly exploded then, too. I'm just glad everything worked out in the end. I like that Amukiki is like a, is like a tank, and Ramus is our actual barbarian, and no one comments on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Like, he's our actual, like, guy who gets super mad and swings around a huge axe. And no one's like, Ramus, you know about barbarians. And he's like, well, let's just have a conversation then. And everyone's like, no, no, you know what? Actually, never mind. Um, who else would know? All right, last but least. Least. <laughs> Why do the Amazons have... Ooh, oh, Ooh, oh, we're opening up this shit's game. Shit's getting real. Why do the Amazons have slaves? If they're so capable, why need anyone else to do work? And she cuts your head off, game over. Lorraine glared at Saren for insinuating a flaw in her culture that was an actual flaw. Amazons are capable women, but they cannot be everywhere at once. If we were infinite in number, only Amazons would, inher would inherit this world. But as it stands, only half our children are so made. I was born of an Amazon mother. But does that not make me an Amazon? Of course not. You're a man. <laughs> Saren couldn't help but wince. That doesn't seem fair. Somewhere in the back, Kambara's like, do it, do it. 
say the words. Say the dump that bitch. <laughs> Men are inferior. I don't see what so unfair about it. It's natural. How am I inferior? Let I... me start by. <laughs> I don't understand. So first off, your stats. Let's talk about your stats. Uh, secondly, you don't have any fighting abilities. Um, you're, it is basically terrible. Um, now, because her brow deepened as she search in her past for an answer. Now, I understand that that's probably supposed to be searched, but I like to think that that past is actually a typo for pants. Mm. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Because that's how it's always been. Men must be weaker, less intelligent, and better suited for slavery than women. That must be it. Except women in Amazon society can also be slaves if they are not Amazons. Yeah, better suited, not not like you. Fair, uniquely fair. suited. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's let's fuck you. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh, oh, Saren. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Look at stand up all the way straight. There's, you can there's do a, it. There's a really like this is that scene in the movie when when yeah, like the 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 MC like justifies their shitty behavior and is like, "Okay, fine. Now I'm going to cut your head off." And Saren like blocks the blade and he's like, "No, I'm free now." Um, that's not what's happening here, but that would be uh, really cool. Yeah. You're wrong. Uh, excuse me. I said you're wrong. How dare you? She reached for her sword. Saren reached for his as well. well Loren looked inside it. He would even dare to meet her in battle. Un unhand your weapon now. Uh, we're going to fight fair. And by fair, I mean I get two swords and you get none. No, I want to show you my strength. You're going to die, man. Oh, yeah. I want to show you that you are wrong about me and all of my kind. The entire camp is eating popcorn <laughs> at this point. They're just like... Amukig yeah. is, like, is like, that boy's gonna die. Draco's just sobbing. Amukig is like, Saren, you are honorable. I will high five you in hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Draco nice. is sobbing into trouble. Merce's like, hey, ah, he's gonna die. And Ray's like, I don't think he's gonna die. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That boy. Yep. Yeah. Brave. Deceased. Kambara's like, I was going to fuck him. <laughs> he would have really liked it. I feel like this is the no. I feel like Kambara would be more attracted to you than ever at this point. Because you're actually being assertive and talking about what you want. Rather yeah. than just being like, yeah, but slavery's like, fine, I guess. They're not, she doesn't really think I'm a slave. Except she behaves in every way like I'm a slave. Ooh, oh, have you read this? No. As inferior as you say I am. It is a slave, a man, you have been relying on since you left the Citadel. Who has fought by your side? Who has protected you every step of the way? Spicy. Why are we not forceful all the time? Maybe this is the real Saren. Could be. Could be. We have be. to play the game again to find out. You, no, never going to know. Impo no way to know. <laughs> My understanding is once you finish the game, it gets erased from your hard drive and you can never reinstall it. I've been told that, yes. And I know I would not have been the only one so capable. I am as Amazon as you. Loren swung out her sword but did not strike. She instead took a deep breath and stared Saren down. You do not decide that. You can't decide that. Neither did you. We were all born the way we are. Fucking Lady Gaga's like blasting from Ramus's tent. <laughs> <laughs> Loren's lips twitched. She couldn't face Saren any longer and rushed away from him. He hoped his words weren't ignored. By how unnerved she looked, he doubted that they were. Yeah, you're gonna fucking neat. die, boy. Yeah, no, that's that's super neat though. Like yeah. that's that's the start of something really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Right. I like that the I like the Jerry Springer reference in chat. It also I was thinking about the birthdays of jokes recently, and I'm like the the Jerry Springer like chant is like a cultural meme from people who are like in their late twenties, early thirties. And probably older. But like doesn't mean anything anymore. Like that that is a reference that's like twenty years old. Yeah. 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 Because um, I was thinking about uh I think it, I can't remember who it was. Was it Jim Carrey in his stand up he used to do Jimmy Stewart jokes? And I'm like that was that was like a dated reference when I was watching them as a kid. 
and yeah, it's a whole thing. All right, so uh, we're going to I believe Grand Tree. Grand Tree, yes. To uh, fight a succubus. Oh, so we want to see if we can buy some more weapons in Horus. Okay. Oh no, do we want to do the personal quest? Oh yes, we do. Uh, it's I remember where. Uh, well, we we pull it up from the. Thing, oh, we right? just. Oh yeah, we just do it. Remove your party setup before proceeding. Do, 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 do. Oh god, we have to bring Karen. Yes, we do. All right. Well, well, from the front row, I guess. Oh yeah, she doesn't even have hit points. God. Well, this is gonna go poorly. We also haven't equipped her in a million years. It'll be great. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <clears throat> uh, Saren and Karen left the camp under false motives so that Loren would not suspect her mother's gift too soon. They traveled far across the lands until reaching the unforgiving swamps. I had never wanted to return to these parts. See? Bodysuit. I'm telling you. Yep. Oh no, she's got a navel. Oh, she does. No, I guess. She yeah, is not no. wearing a bodysuit. She is wearing, however, wearing what keeps reminding me of like a Hogwarts logo. Like there's something yeah! very Hogwarts about that. Yeah! Like it isn't, but there's just, it just sort of rings of it. I super dig the pauldron design, though. There's a universe in which instead of wearing a bikini and a disheveled bathrobe, Karen's got, like, a super sweet set of plate armor that sort of maps to that pauldron. Yeah. And it's rad. Saren watched Karen, Karen closely, only daring to go as far as she would. What are we looking for? The ruins where you found me. They are the remains of people that once ruled here. The Chizulu. That's why I know that word. Are the lizardmen their descendants? Karen, Karen chuckled under her breath. No, I believe they are just fond of the swamp. It is like all civilizations. When one dies, another one will quickly take its place. See? She's just fucking David Attenborough. I need to work on my David Attenborough. <clears throat> I am I'm also up David I am also disappointed that Karen does not have abs. I think that the 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 artists missed the mark on like the opportunity for sick lady abs in this game. You consider the Liz lizard men a civilization? Karen slowed but did not stop. I have been in their company. They are no simple creatures. They're not. Before Karen could answer, the muddy ruins of Chizulu appeared before them. Those structures were crumbling into the swamp, but they remained a marvel. In the distance, they could see smoke from a campfire. I'm sad that they don't have art for this. Do you think? Yes, lizardmen. We will have to avoid them as we make our way into the ruins. Any relic from wars of old would be preserved underground. Saren nodded and followed Karen as he crouched and silently sped across the mud. At the campfire, many lizardmen were lounging around as if sleeping, but they were all chattering and hissing at each other. What are they doing? That is how they speak. Then they are not sleeping. Fuck's sake. Corinne had learned much about their culture from her imprisonment. Also, lizardmen, um, A, um, have... Yeah, they're not just mindless beats. They wear belts. <laughs> I like that that's a mark of civilization. <laughs> but it's true. Like, the amount of civilization infrastructure you have to have to, like, wear a belt like this is yeah. really impressive. Yeah, like, like... Like, to make friar's robes or katanas? Over there, that doorway. Uh, Corinne pointed at their goal. Now they had to reach it without being caught. Seriously! A lizardman was patrolling the perimeter of the campfire circle. He had just finished his round on the side closest to them. Uh, he's on the side closest to us. Oh. Wait. Th then we will wait. They waited to see if there were any more patrols just to be safe. However, they waited too long and the first patrol came around and noticed them. He hissed and the other lizardman to attack. Alright. Well... Alright, I guess we just go for it, right? Oh, she's got the super whirlwind now. And what about the, the punch through? Because that strike through 
3843, what does the whirlwind do? 5057. That is more, right? Yep. Why your numbers? And it weakened them. Oh, good. Sorting? Sorting. Sorting, yeah. Like, Saren's actually pretty formidable now. Yeah, he doesn't do much in the way of damage. Like, not compared to any of our damage dealers, but... Oh, good. We're all slow. Um, 2934. Focus target. Oh! That seems good. Uh, except we're not going to have that many rounds. Like, we killed him the last one in two rounds, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. Um... I think we just hit him. Yeah. Oh, maybe... Yeah. Like, we could have whirlwinded him for a bit more damage, but it, but yeah, in the end it didn't really, like, make a difference. Yeah. It's a round and a half. And they got Hooray! Oh, Saren leveled up. Alright. I don't like this. We have invaded their home for no glorious purpose. We should avoid killing them. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Every time Saren says that, I hear Harry Kim in the first episode of Voyager. Where he's like, yes, ma'am. And Janeway's like, it's not crunch time yet, Ensign. Chill. Uh, now inside of a ruined building, they, they softly step down a dark hallway until they heard more hiss talk. Corinne peered around the corner and saw several lizard men. They both pressed against the wall and calculated a plan. Let's wait again. Yeah, it's, it's got to be right. That Yeah, right? It's got to be right at some point. Saren flattened to the wall and a lizard man walked past him. He looked again and the coast looked clear. Go now. Saren nodded at Karen and they both wheeled around the corner and dashed into the darkness ahead. They cleared the second group of lizard men unscathed. Hooray! A stealth component in a visual novel. <laughs> they wasted no time in, ser in, in searching the hallways for a way deeper into the ruins. They found a door that led down deep into the ground. It descended into the belly of the ruins, relying on the lights that the lizard men had furnished along the walls. At the bottom they came to a dusty chamber. There were piles of rusting metal and rotting wood. I was about to be like, oh, that's really interesting. They made a point of mentioning where the lights come from, because that's the thing you always wonder in dungeons, right? You're like, who is lighting these torches? But at the same time, torches don't stay lit for that long. Who is continuing to light these torches when there's no one down here? This this is why I could not play um, uh, Uncharted. Right? Oh, it's... <laughs> Nobody's been down here ever. First one to discover it. There are barrels of explosives, lit torches. And 60 guys with machine guns. Past the secret puzzle that I just solved for the first time in Eons. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's I Uncharted. Make, yeah, two, two marriages the same way. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm like, I think about it, like, like I turn off the lights in my house when I'm not in a room. Mm. Um, like the notion that you would just leave torches, torches burning, torches burning, no, torches burning is just like ludicrous to me. Um, okay. what a very strong odor this room has. What a wonderful <laughs> smell you've discovered. It is trash to them, but in these piles lie historical artifacts. Where do we start searching? I don't fucking know. The right pile. You look in the well, right we looked pile. in the correct pile. Yeah. A small blade sliced at Saren's ankle. He yelped and kneeled down to grab his wound. A green blur moved toward Karen. Watch out. Karen cartwheeled backwards just as a small... You, you can't thing. cartwheel backwards! That is not how cartwheeling works. It is entirely sideways. <laughs> Cern ripped the torch from the wall and threw it at the lizard man. It landed at his feet. Showed that it was a lo young lizard woman. A child. Don't attack. Trespassers! <laughs> Both Saren and Karen were startled by the talking juvenile. And they noticed this child may be green and covered with scales, but his, her head was similar to theirs. Ooh! Is she a new race? Halt! Oh God! What? Oh, elves! Did yeah. Not realize the language they understood was was followed by hissing that they did not. An elf woman and a lizard man ran into the room with glares. The elf hissed and clicked at the juvenile, but the girl didn't move. 
What is an elf doing with the lizardmen? Ah, thieves! You disgrace our home! The lizardman slapped his jaws and wielded a weapon. We don't wish to fight you. We're here to retrieve a relic and then we'll leave peacefully. We're PCs. We're here to steal your shit. Thieves must die! The child tried to attack Karen, but Saren dove down to protect her. The elf mother did what any mother would do. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Well, 